Jonathan Taves, Phil Jackson, Jim Kleinsasser, Zach Muckenhern. What do these four have in common? They're UND's highest drafted players in the four major sports. Last weekend was the Midseason Track Championship. And next weekend, the World of Outlaw Late Models come to town. So, of course, smacked right in the middle of that is WGAZ night. For the second Friday night in a row, UND could not get things done in regulation. The Red River BMX track, they say, is good for people of all ages and abilities, including television reporters. So the fine folks here gave me a helmet. I got a bike waiting up for me up there, and we're going to see how this goes. 203 straight dual matches and 15 consecutive EDC titles. The riders going for number 16 tonight against West Fargo Cheyenne, a team that didn't even exist the last time Red River lost. You played wide receiver last year played quarterback this year, but those wide receiver skills, they come in handy for that intercession in the fourth quarter. But the Rystads aren't the only set of twins that make up the Polar Bears offensive line. Lining up at left guard and left tackle are the Hofer twins. They say two is better than one. Mark Dobmeyer's been racing sprint cars in Grand Forks for years, and now he's sharing. We ended up building a frame and it was a little extra long, so kind of limousine style sprint car, I guess you could say, so you can carry a passenger on the back. It's the rare two-seater sprint car, which Dobmeyer built himself. And now at the Bullring, fans can purchase raffle tickets to experience the thrill of a real race car. There's a ton of excitement about it, but of course everybody wants to get in it, but uh, that's why we're doing the raffle situation, so that's, we'll draw three names a night. And Dobmeyer says it's an experience unlike any other. Reactions are great. I mean, it's, it's, it's fun just to watch the, uh, watch the uh, reaction of people when they get out of it, because they are, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's like, I don't know how to explain it even. It's just funny. They're just glowing. So there are plenty of people who want to take a ride in the two-seater with Mark Dobmeyer, but I was one of the lucky ones. He gave me a tracksuit. I don't know if it fits. He gave me a helmet. Okay. This one. <laughs> And we took a spin. We're going! I felt like more like throwing up that time. <laughs> oh good, we didn't catch on fire! I told you we wouldn't! <laughs> Reporting in Grand Forks, Maddie Sattler. We survived! WDAZ Sports. Hi again, everyone. Just a handful of games left for some Legion baseball teams before the playoffs begin later this week. The Grand Forks Royals hosting my not for two regular season contests. Royals take game one and get things going in the first inning of game two. Landon Kraft to left field. It's deep enough to score Ben Carolyn. Royals up by one. Brendan Bethke was good on the mound this evening as well. Same score in the third. Gets the call strike three. They only get through four and a half innings two to the final. In Class B, the Central Region Legion Tournament beginning today. Hatton taking on Mayport. Preston Ettinger was dealing early, gets Thomas McClenahan swinging to end the second. Mayport draws first blood, scoreless in the top of the third. Reese Hansen hits one right back up. The middle makes it 2-0, but Hatton played solid all game long. They come back to win it 10-4. Earlier this morning, reigning Class B champion Carrington taking on Harwood. Bottom one, Carrington starting pitcher Brady Smith helping his own cause. Bloops one to center. That makes it it won nothing, and that was all Smith would need. He gets it done on the mound, striking out six over seven innings and pitches a shutout. Carrington wins one to nothing. Game two of the day, New Rockford and Hillsboro Central Valley. Black Sox get on top early. 2-0 in the second, a suicide squeeze. Bo Belquist getting the job done as Tyra Smith comes in to score. It's 3-0. HCV wasn't going down without a fight. Bottom three, 3-1 three, now. Tanner Linnell finds a hole on the right side of the infield. Two runs score and things are tied. But New Rockford's offense just too much today. Same score in the fourth. Caleb Haley hits a hard ground to the hot corner. It's misplayed. Two runs score. New Rockford wins 6-3. to three. Gardner tops Hope Finley in the final game of the night. Brennan Neva strikes out 12 for the win on the mound. Game two between the Minnesota Twins and the Tigers. Big seventh inning for Minnesota. Already up 1-0. Eduardo Nunez goes right back up the middle. Two runs come home, and it's 3-0. Later in the inning, 4-0 now. Brian Dozier at the dish, and he does not miss this. The ballpark is not keeping this one in. It's in the seats in left field. Minnesota wins 6-2. 
Seven weeks from Thursday, the UND football team kicks off their season at Stony Brook. This week, the Big Sky kicking things off in Utah. Quarterback Keaton Studsrud and head coach Bubba Schweiger representing the Fighting Hawks in the event. Schweiger entering his third season as the coach of the Fighting Hawks squad. The team was 7-4 and four last year and on the bubble when it came to the FCS playoff selection. This year's squad hoping to leave no doubt they deserve a postseason berth. Schweiger hopes that fans can help support those aspirations. We've got a lot of positive energy, you know, in the community and in the region with our backers and supporters, and, and we'll take that. I know it's good for our program, and, you know, one of our goals and our vision is to fill the Alaris Center for yep. home games. We think that'll give us a huge home field advantage, and it's a great venue to play in, and we appreciate all the support and all our loyal fans throughout the years. And I think we're moving in that direction to fill the place up, and we're looking forward to the season. Also today, the Big Sky releasing their preseason polls. UND fourth in the media members poll, receiving two first place votes. The Fighting Hawks are fifth in the coaches poll. Northern Arizona on top of both lists. The Lumberjacks, UND's only top five opponent this season. College hockey is heading to Sin City. The Grand Forks Herald reporting today that UND and Minnesota have agreed to play the 2018 College Hockey Hall of Fame game in Las Vegas. Both schools will officially be announcing the matchup in the next couple of weeks. The plan is to play one game in Orleans Arena, which is about a mile and a half west of the Strip. The two rivals played annually for 65 consecutive years before moving to different conferences in 2013. They met at the 2014 Frozen Four, and this year they will meet in Minneapolis. A big, a big Las Vegas matchup. I mean, I think we should all uh, punch our t get our tickets right now and go to Vegas, watch Vegas, the college baby. hockey.